check our welcome issues. See what I see. Hear what I hear. Feel what I feel. Then maybe you will understand why I do what I do. My story starts with my dad. My dad is my pillar. My dad was an orphan. We never had a meal without a stranger in our house. He had a passion for people, and he still has passion for people. That has been my rock. Yeah. Originally, I'm from Zimbabwe. Then I migrated to Australia. For me, it changed the whole perspective of life. Good morning, everyone. Um, <laughs> good morning, everyone. <laughs> I really want to thank you for this opportunity as African theaters to present on what we do. We take children to Africa for two weeks. Can someone really believe two weeks can change somebody? Yes, it can. It can. A lot of kids are so lonely, so isolated, so angry, so bitter, so unhappy. And this is what drives me. A lot of people, they don't notice the culture and the love that Africans have because of the poverty. They always look at the poverty. But poverty is nothing compared to love. Taking the children to Africa makes them realize how fortunate they are being here. We go to different places with them. We go to rural areas. Where are they going to sleep on the floor? They are taking a walk in someone's shoes. It will be a great journey. You will enjoy it. You will enjoy every minute of it. The moment we leave here, we get on the plane, it will be all fun. We have raised money, but we haven't raised enough. We're still raising. We're still trying to do some fundraising. So when it comes tonight, I go driving. I can start maybe after 10 when my little one has gone to bed and then finish around 3. Come back home and have a bit of a sleep. I believe we will raise that money. It doesn't matter what it takes. If it means that I'm going to drive through all the night and just be able to take one child and change the life of a child, I would rather do that. In Africa, we were taught differently. We were taught to look after each other. There's empathy. And hope is only found in helping other people. That's where you get your real hope. That's where you get your excitement. Take them to Africa. Then you see that child change. One day, everyone is going to go. But how are you going to go, happy or sad? A person has to do something that is fulfilling to other person and that makes a person happy. Yeah. If you don't do things to help another person, no matter what you do or anywhere in the world, you will never be happy. Take a walk in the shoes. See what I see, hear what I hear, feel what I feel, then maybe you'll understand why I do what I do.